Hello, I'm Theodore Belukas for Vernissage TV here in New York, and I'm with Daniel Domig, a Viennese artist who is uh, at Thrust Projects currently with uh, a French artist by the name of Audrey uh, Liseron Monfi. And uh, Audrey has returned to France, however, but we're here with, with Daniel, and uh, we're going to uh, look at his paintings. So the first before us. The first painting here yeah. is, um, uh, the actual title is Untitled, but I refer to it as a Burgmann, which is uh, uh, the German word for castle man. Burg is, is German uh, for castle, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, a quite, it's an obvious title, um, obviously, to choose. You have a castle in the background. Um, and yeah, the, he, he's feet. sort of disappearing into. Exactly. And why? Well, the, the idea, the ideas for the paintings mm -hmm. usually are, are very spontaneous. The narratives that, that derive from, from the process mm -hmm. seem, seem to be coming kind of just from my way of approaching the figure and the landscape. Mm -hmm. um, however, in this particular painting, there was an installation that I did um, about a half a year before that, which was basically a combination. It was a, a figure that you could walk into, oh. and a uh, figure, a, like a a fi it was figure a, of a person. A figure of a person lying okay. down, but it has it had very strong, uh, spacious, and architectural elements to it. Uh -huh. So it was like a half half house, half man. Oh. So it has it had the layout from a, a figure, uh -huh. but it had the function and and the construction of a house. Okay, and so that must have been quite large then. It, it was quite large. It was yeah. about. 30 meters, 20 meters long. Okay. And, and so looking back at that installation, you have kind of this poetic link together of, of this painting being almost like a poetic sketch for, for that installation where the figure and an architectural form actually melt together. Um, and so that was kind of the idea for this painting too that came that there's that there's a figure in architecture how they can actually work to become one thing mm -hmm. and not just a, a, a random thrown together object mm -hmm. um, it's also sort of a surreal too in a way that, that it, yeah especially the missing the, the yeah. missing body to the feet but it has a kind of dreamscape quality to it as well there it seems very ethereal and um yeah and so yeah i i would suspect that you know, we, you can construct anything yeah. out of your dreams, and this is sort of uh, even a little hallucinatory at the same time. There's a, uh, it may be some something with what you do with the paint, but it has a kind of a, a kind of ghostly kind of almost uh, otherworldly quality. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Well, and you paint in oil, right? Yeah, it's all oil, and it's, as you can see, it's all unprimed canvas. Yeah, I noticed you, so, you expose the canvas, too. It's not gessoed, it's... Exactly. It's the canvas is, I use, I use rabbit skin glue, which is a, a clear primer, which basically just has the function of actually stretching the canvas mm. and, and kind of preparing it for paint. But it doesn't, it doesn't prime the canvas in any color. It's not a white primer that you uh, traditionally start on mm -hmm. um, painting. Do you, do you put them on stretchers or...? It, exactly. This, in this case, this is actually an installation, uh, uh, installation view of an a experiment I was doing, uh -huh. kind, of re, kind of taking the painting off the stretcher, right. but still having it as a painting. Um, but extended off the ground on stilts. Mm -hmm. So it kind of works with, if you see other work um, that I do, the installations are always referring to painting and how painting can be um, installed, uh, presented, represented. Mm -hmm. um, and so this has that element to it. Yeah, it seems to work because you're sort of reconstituting painting uh, by, by exposing the canvas. You, you you know, you take away a sort of um, dimensionality that that usually the, the spectator sees the object as in a in a kind of maybe in a flatter way. Yeah. Um, but there's almost a, a kind of a, a dissolve there. Well, by by having the, the canvas exposed, you're exactly. reminded of what of what 
of, of what, what it is. is. Well, traditionally, you have painting as a two-dimensional two form mm -hmm. where you integrate space mm -hmm. um, in the process of painting. So the me you use the medium to create a space. You create a background and a foreground. Mm -hmm. But the actual painting becomes, becomes is, is a flat object. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, working with the figure strongly in all three paintings, as we'll see later on, having the figure being a very strong element that I focus on in all my work. Mm -hmm. um, I was interested in how the idea of the figure, especially the single figure, could, could translate into the painting as an object. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you have the whole stretcher bars mm -hmm. and the canvas actually as an object mm -hmm. standing. It's still leaning against the wall, mm -hmm. so it's, mm -hmm. it's not quite, it kind of, it's not quite made that um, that step into standing by itself, right. but or it's, hanging or, or hanging, yeah. yeah. But it's in between that stage, yeah. so it's like walk. It's it's almost walking away, right. and there's that distance to the wall. So it's like almost an emancipated painting mm -hmm. in its narrative form, but mm -hmm. also in its formal form. And, and in terms of, do you do you like sort of experimenting with 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 space and how you use it? Yeah. Well, all, all my installations are all very very in involved and very interested in, in the space that they're shown in. Mm -hmm. And so the last installation I did here at Thrust Projects was um, an installation built out of the stretch canvases. So it was paintings that were combined, uh, combined to create a little house you mm -hmm. could walk into. Mm -hmm. um, you like so, architecture. Yeah. So the architecture definitely comes in, um, in uh, on different levels. Did you study architecture? No. It, but you're just drawn to structures? I'm drawn to structures and and especially just the way the figure kind of lives and moves within certain structures mm -hmm. and the importance of of the structure that it has kind of in retrospect on the figure. Do you, um, do you sort of, are your figures supposed to be alienated in some ways from, from the environment around them? Um, well, they, I think a figure in a painting is always, in a sense, alienated. Mm. Um, I detached? Think, yeah, detached. Um, I think there are definitely, I'm, I'm definitely interested, I find it easier to focus on a, on a soul figure mm -hmm. than, in a, than a group of people. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's half, for personal reasons, the other half is just, um, I think it's just that I can focus strongly or on, or, or it's, it's easier to focus and get into the idea of the figure and how it relates to the surroundings. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're working with several figures, you're more focused on the interpersonal relationships yeah. between the figures. Yeah. And, well, they, 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 they end up uh, sort of dominating the subject matter. Exactly. You yeah. know, even if they're, they're ornamental. You know? Yeah. You know. What's happening here? They seem to be detached between themselves, yet she's, she's grasping his arm. And he seems to have his back to her. Is she trying to pull him back? Did he, did they have a fight? Well, the, I mean, we were talking about the, sing, of, about the single figure beforehand. Mm -hmm. And here you have two figures, but there's, as you said, there is still a, a very obvious distance between them. The second figure is, is in composition, actually falling out of the painting. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the larger figure, um, the male figure is is obviously centered in the image, which is which is the way you would do it if you're actually just working with one single figure, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, and so sure. the second figure is just cut off. 